Hey everyone, Commander Buck Rabbit here, and this is another edition of the Elite Chronicles. Today, we're going to do some mining. Now mining, when you first start, um, is a little bit problematic, because there is nowhere in the protected systems where you can buy prospector limpets. Or prospector limpets, as I like to call them normally. So what we're we going to do... We're going to take a mining build out into the ring and we're going to take a little test mining sample of the rocks that are out there, see what we can get and then we'll come back and see what missions we can fulfill with the mining that we've done. Because it's not a good idea to go out there and just mine according to a mission because honestly I don't think you'll be able to do it so I've got two small mining lasers on board and lots of cargo but that's left over from our cargo running days we replace one with a 2d refinery which has three bins now a bin is a way of processing ore that the collector limpets Put into it. Each bit is put into a bin, the bin mounts up and eventually you'll get a complete storage container that contains the material that you were mining. So we're just going to try it. Normally you would try and do it according to a mining mission, like mine six units of rutile. Now that is actually quite a lot, or we'll mine seven units of cobalt which is actually quite a lot for this, a ship this size with the equipment that it has. So all we're going to do is go out into the ring and see what we can bring back. And then we'll apply what we bring back to a mission. So, out we go. I've still got auto launch and auto land. Out we go. Alright, we'll just take over at this point. All we got to really watch out for is we don't ram the ships in front. But this is the ring we're going to do. And the way you get into a ring, normally you would go for a resource extraction site. But because they don't have a detailed surface scanner, we don't actually know where that is going to be the best place to mine. So what we'll go in here, and there is one there, which we could try, but that's in Dromey 2. Maybe we'll try that, actually. But the high basically means that's high risk, so there's a good chance that there's going to be pirates. But let's go there. Let's go. It's actually behind me and to the left. going over to this resource extraction site. Ordinarily they, they are actually su suited at hotspots. I'm going to take the super cruise this now. I think I did. Yes I did. It's a human threat level 3. So there is a little bit of threat there. But we could also shoot pirates because we've still got our pulse lasers but now I don't have the super cruise assist I'm gonna have to watch my speed because we don't want to overshoot. So again, when it gets to 007, let me just slow down. And again, we're scanning ships on the way. 
see if we can get some scans from them. Yep, distorted shield cycle. See if we can get anything from Mr. Oh, Mitt Sirensnirek. There's a name. So the resource extraction site will be located somewhere in the ring. It's quite skinny rings, these ones. But we'll see what we can get from it. You don't have to worry too much about how fast you go into the ring. But it's a good idea to slow down a little bit. There is actually another one there, but that's high risk. This is reasonable risk, so we should be okay. And then we literally just drop into the ring. Oh, there's another one there. Theoretically, you can jump into any part of the ring and just start mining. But when we get further along, we'll get a surface scanner. And you'll be able to see the best way and the best place to mine. Because hotspots will be visible. Just drop, drop in here. These are icy rings. We may attract the attention of a pirate, but we don't need to really worry about that that time. So we switch to our mining lasers. And just pick one of the rocks and shoot it. Yeah, they've got that happening. Alright, we've got a couple of chunks off, so we're going to go over to the contacts. Now we have bromolite and methane caltrite. I don't think we saw any of those for that particular mission. I think it was cobalt and rutile. Let's do a little bit of a change on the fire groups here. Uh, let's get that out of there, that out of there. Make those collect limpets. Get rid of that. Put that on two and put the pulse lasers on one. Yep, don't know why I'm spinning. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, shoot this one. There we got. Bromolite and water, uh, liquid oxygen. But it all becomes very random when you haven't got prospectors. You just have to go around and shoot each one. And just keep shooting that. Uh, bromolite and bromolite. I think for the purposes of this, we'll we'll stick with the bromolite. So what we need to do is launch a couple of limpet lim limpets out, and that would mean we don't have to go around picking them up manually. So we'll see what we can get out of here. I think we'll just go with bromolite. So to ignore everything else. You'll see here, you can just ignore and ignore liquid oxygen. Always pick up the materials. You always need materials. We'll also ignore methane caltrate. So the only thing we're picking up now is bromelite. And to make sure of that, we're going to go over to the inventory, come down to the second tab and we're going to get rid of hydrogen peroxide and lithium hydroxide 
that means that our refinery doesn't get clogged up with stuff that we don't want. And this is mining. This is surface mining. There is another type of mining called deep core, but for that you need a number of other bits and pieces. I think I've exhausted that one. Let's go over and shoot this rock. So as you can see, this way is a bit hit and miss. So you might not want to do this very often until you can get the Prospect Olympics. And when we do get some Prospect Olympics, we'll revisit this activity. And then you can see how much easier it is. There's no problem lighting you, is there? Uh, there's one. One bit. We'll just keep on shooting. And of course, when you get bigger and better ships, you can have bigger and better mining lasers. Oh, nothing coming out of you, is there? Let's shoot this one. There's no rhyme or reason to what you're going to get out of a rock when you're surface mining. So don't fixate on shapes or anything because it doesn't always follow. Well, this is a good bromelite rock. But, like I said, this one was picked at random. Completely random. Oh, someone's in trouble. You'll get messages up in the top left of messages from NPCs what's going on wow it's taking ages we've got to wait for the weapon capacitor to recharge even though we've got full pips to weapons and there we go we've got one ton of bromelite or one unit of bromelite also got some sulfur And the size one mining lasers is all you can get. Trust me, I've looked. Who's that? I think that one's exhausted. It's also good to pick a direction. In the, moment, in the moment I'm heading for the planet. The planet is the big blue thing. Can't miss it. It's big, it's blue. Especially in a ring like this. In heavier rings it might get a bit dodgy knowing where the planet is, believe me. I've lost a couple of planets in my time. Because in the thicker, more concentrated rings, it's much easier to get disorientated. Oh, well, being scanned. Remember, we're just going for bromelite. We've got some sulfur out there. Got some hydrogen peroxide. I don't think I ignored that. There we go. Do not want anything except bromelite. Because that's the thing that will mostly get us money, probably. So, again, we need to clear that out from hydrogen. Otherwise, what will happen is it will say it can't be allocated. And you'll end up with a full refinery. So, it's best to ignore some of the things you're looking at. You will actually go really slow with your cargo scoop down. You can't boost with your cargo scoop down. So don't panic. I 
I'm heading for the, as you can see, I'm heading for the bottom of the rotation. So hopefully that should push the chunks down towards our limpets. Yes. You do actually have to mine 50 tons of bromelite for one of the engineers. So this is good practice. When we get two tons, we'll call it a day. <laughs> How many tons are we looking at now? So that was 14%. Got one ton, we'll get two tons. Once you've got all the good stuff, like prospects and limpets and detailed surface scanners, Mining is profitable, but when you're a cadet as such, or just a, a rookie, especially in the protected systems, it's really not a way, a way of making money. You are better off spending your time on data runs and cargo runs. We've been here quarter of an hour and we don't even have one ton yet if any of you have seen my twitch stream when we're mining you'll know that that's awful <laughs> absolutely awful we're going for this rock here I mean, if you want to do this carry on but it will take you a very long time to get any significant rewards or money from mining in the protected systems. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, there's some bromelite. Oh my god, low temperature diamonds. The low temperature diamonds would be worth it. Even just get one ton. Even here, I would say that the sell price for low temp diamonds is going to be relatively low, I would have thought. We can check when we go back. Two limpets out. See, we've got some chromium there. All the mats are useful. And you will use them later. Right, that asteroid is depleted. Let's collect up these final bits. And try not to ram them. Try not to ram the rocks. Look at that, it's so pretty. We've got 51% in low temp diamonds. We might get one ton out of this. If we're lucky. <laughs> And if we do, we should get a good payday on that. But for missions, I really wouldn't bother. Essentially, you've got no way of finding the rock that you're after. And certainly no way of getting everything you need out of it. Because if you use prospectors, you get significantly more rocks out for your prospector. Let's 
So this is all lithium hydroxide. Ooh, some manganese there as well. Let's get rid of the lithium. Try this rock here. Oh, what have we got? Manganese is a new discovery. Let's see if we can find another one. Low temp diamonds in it. Started the diamond fever. No, lithium. Oh, you foul temptress. No, not that one. Remember to use your thrusters when you're in the in the ring to avoid the rocks. Use your thrusters for side to side action, up and down. Saves you a lot in wiggling it about, as it were. Yeah, if you're lucky, you might get something worthwhile. Most of the time, it will be worthless. Without prospectors, you're kind of barking up very many wrong trees. Unless you're lucky. No temp diamonds. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Just let that warm up. Ooh, 66% off one. Let's keep mining this rock. Keep mining. Come on, let's see if we can get one unit of low temps. Because that'll be a lovely bit of coin. Right, that asteroid's depleted. So close. Oh, we got one ton. One ton of low temp diamonds. I think we will stop on that. Look at the average uh, average price for it. 295,000 for one ton. What are we picking up off of this one? Bromelite. Let's not worry about that. Alright, we'll just shut the cargo scoop up. Yeah, alright. Fair enough. Go on in. One more bit. Alright, we need to get away from the mass of the rings. Get back in Super Cruise and head back to Morse and Dock. On the other side of the ring. Now, in some systems, one ton of low temperature diamonds could be worth over a million. But if we keep hold of that, we will be a target for pirates. Where are we? 
join me. Slow down for docking. We still have auto dock, so we won't need to worry about that. Still scanning for those signal sources. And what we will do, you see these are unidentified signal sources? We will make this ship into a collector and figure that go to those and pick up everything that's there. Because there can be some real goodies there. side so that's is it on the other side no it's this side good means you don't have to go around the planet well, if you look closely on the station you'll see that the back of it has red lights and the front of it has white lights. You can always also use the graphic on the bottom. But if you can't see where it is, then it's a good indicator. I'm just gonna have a quick I'm gonna have a quick look on Inara to see how much they're selling for. I'm gonna check the commodity market. God, that's a very low price. Especially when we can go outside the protected systems and get 1.5 million. But I think on this occasion we're just going to sell it. I mean, we could get 1.5 million, but we're not going to. say we're very lightly armed and we don't want to be dragging around a ton of low temp diamonds with us so we we'll go to the commodities market we'll go to sell and we had some we got one ton of bromelite which is worth 8,000 credits which we can sell there and we got one ton of low temperature diamonds which we can sell there. Oh, I'm so tempted to keep hold of those. But we'll have plenty of opportunity to get low temperature diamonds. It's probably not one of the missions. Right, let's just quickly check to see if there's any missions which require one ton of bromelite. I don't think there is. No, deliver, deliver. Korea take down right okay no nothing to do with bromelite so we go back to commodities market and sell that so the hope there is to mine the materials required for a mission but honestly I would leave the mining until later with that I'm gonna end the episode thanks for watching everyone and hopefully I'll see you on the next one